So, the topic for the week is homophobia in high school. Um, I actually went to three different high schools, so I got a gist of pretty much everything. I uh, went to a um, suburban school, a particular school that uh, is pretty gangster. Then I also went to a pretty redneck school. If that's what you want to call it. I mean, there's like turkeys and rabbits and a bunch of weird stuff like that at the school. Um, so, experience with that. Guilty by association. Um, yeah. Didn't matter if you were straight, what have you, whatever. Most of my friends were of the gay, lesbian, bisexual community. And... I pretty much did anything for my friends. I was one of those people who used to say, oh, that's so gay. And me and my best friend from high school, absolutely best friend, we're still best friends right now. Um, I said, oh, that's so gay. And she got upset, got off the bus, and called me later to inform me that she was bi. And coming from the particular South that doesn't go well on the Bible belt line, you're not really taught about that when you're growing up and stuff because people don't want you to know about stuff like that. So the same week, my boyfriend came out to me and told me that he was by. A lot of my straight friends had called me and told me that. He was actually called out in class. Everybody slid away their chairs from him. And even the teacher told him to go to the back of the classroom. Because the guys are always shouting, Oh, you're gay, you're a fag, blah, blah, blah. And that was pretty hard. Especially for him. Because it was at that time one of my best friends that was actually making those gestures and having everybody scoot away from him like there was something wrong with him it was really bad um that particular school we had like bombs put in trash cans all kinds of crazy stuff um one of my other best guy friends basically like all my friends came out to me the same week i was one of those party girls in high school so i used to always have parties at my house and they just wanted to let me know hey, this is who I am. And I had no problem with it whatsoever. It was a little weird at first, of course. We were actually in a theater class, which is kind of weird because Kate had mentioned that he went through a similar situation. And a bunch of the jocks were screaming to my best guy friend on stage, oh, look at that fag. And I was the type of girl, I don't put up with that. My friends mean the absolute world to me, so... I stood up. He was actually sitting right in front of me, and I decked him in the face. Yeah. Didn't get in trouble for it, though, because the teachers all just kind of looked at me going, yeah, he definitely deserved that, because homophobia was huge, huge in every high school that I went to. Um, me and my friends got really close because of it. In high school, it is difficult to deal with. And you just got to take it with stride. Me and my friends would get together on the weekends because as long as you got your friends, you basically got your whole world. Um, I remember one time walking in the mall with my best friend, the one that actually had came out to me um, about her being bisexual. And her mom saying, what are you like her? And I had no clue what she was talking about. It was probably two or three weeks before she'd actually came out to me. But she got complete hell for being by. So anyways, moral of the story is you definitely got to take it with stride. As long as you have your friends, you got everything. And if you don't have friends, um, something I would suggest is probably keep a journal. I don't know. Some people release in that way. Um, just to keep it in a journal. Or there's other methods. If you need to talk to somebody, I mean, there's always counselors and stuff. I know my friends used to go to their counselors all the time. 
high school was hell though. It definitely was. And being in the association, as they would say, I spent a lot of time in the office after school detention. I really didn't care. My friends, like I said, meant the world to me. And I would do anything for them. Like, my friend would get busted um, for doing something stupid, like nothing she even did. And I would raise my hand and say, hey, you know what? I was doing that too. And we would just straight up chill. And I just hope y'all can find a friend, somebody of that nature. Uh, but if you got any questions or whatever, um, you can definitely you can come to me. Just uh, ask me pretty much anything. There's nothing I haven't pretty much been through. So...